What is up, everyone? I'm Igor. Welcome to my workshop. I've gotten a new 3D printer this year as a Christmas gift. It is an Artillery Sidewinder X1, and I've been running it for a few weeks now. It seems to be a decent and pretty reliable machine, but I've noticed that the uh, model surface quality is kind of lacking. I'm pretty sure this printer can do better. The build quality itself is pretty good, so um, this is going to be the first video in a small series where I will try different ways to tune this machine and hopefully improve the print quality. So with that out of the way, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Today I will try two simple things, one of which I was going to do anyway, and, well, see if it makes any difference. Here is a control model. This is Ben, a Bench's cousin. Uh, it is printed as is. As you may see, although details look okay, the surface quality leaves much to be desired. So the first thing I will try doing is bypassing the filament runout sensor. The sensor is located on the spool holder and for now I will just plug it with a piece of filament and try printing without it. While it's printing, let me show you something. I'm currently printing from a thumb drive and using Octoprint only to monitor the printer. I've noticed that when changing temperature, the printer significantly overshoots and undershoots, as you may see here. I tried doing PID calibration, but many times it was overshooting so badly that the calibration procedure just failed with an error or something like PID calibration failed, temperature is too high. Also, the EEPROM in this printer is locked by default, so I couldn't save the PID values. I plan to update the firmware and unlock EEPROM, and I'll probably make another video on that topic. Anyway, let's take a look at the result. Well, unfortunately, the result is not that much different. It is slightly better, slightly less layer discrepancy, but still not good yet. Okay, next, let's try to tighten up the belts. I like the way belts are tightened in this printer. You just loosen up these bolts, pull the bracket so the belt is as tight as you want it to be, and then tighten up the bolts again. The procedure is the same for the X-axis belt. Now, with the belts tightened, let's try printing Ben again. Alright, to me there is some improvement. There is definitely less ringing and ghosting and the layers are more consistent, but the discrepancy is still there. Thank you. 
And that is all for today. I hope you've learned something from this video. Uh, so for me, uh, I can definitely see some quality improvement, but still, this is not what I want yet. Um, the belt tightening procedure is something that I was going to do anyway, and I mean, this is one of the basic uh, tune-up procedures for any 3D printer, so I mean, at least that's done. And the next time I will try doing a few more things, uh, meaning I will um, try calibrating all the stepper motors. Um, I heard some well rumors um, the default values are not correct. And I will also try replacing the stock spool holder with, I don't know, something else. I will come up with something. Also, in the meantime, I will update the firmware, unlock the EEPROM, and try doing a proper PID calibration. So I hope you like this video, and if so, please click that like button, feel free to share it, consider subscribing to my channel, and of course, your comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, and don't forget to have fun! Bye!